scatter people in panic. <laughs> At another gate, even more desperate scenes as the airport continues to be besieged. You work hard, you play by the rules, your children will reap those rewards. And that's really what the American dream is. For the first time in our country, what we're experiencing is that's not the case. Given the nature and reach of our enemies, we will win this conflict by the patient accumulation of successes, by meeting a series of challenges with determination and will and purpose. <laughs> Today we focus on Afghanistan, but the battle is broader. We will stay until the mission is done. Alliance must maintain its resolve and finish the fight in NATO. As President Sarkozy put it in London last week, we cannot afford to lose Afghanistan. Whatever the cost, however difficult the victory, we cannot afford it. We must win. Well, see, the, the, the Taliban understands you mess with China, they will kill you. Yeah. I agree completely. And even as there will be dark days ahead in Afghanistan, the light of a secure peace can be seen in the distance. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. These long wars will come to a responsible end. Others will ask, why don't we leave immediately? That answer is also clear. We must give Afghanistan the opportunity to stabilize. Otherwise, our gains could be lost, and Al-Qaeda could establish itself once more. As Commander-in-Chief, I refuse to let that happen. That's not at all clear for me. 2014, therefore, is a pivotal year. Together with our allies and the Afghan government, we have agreed that this is the year we will conclude our combat mission in Afghanistan. And Chinese government, they are telling a different story. The truth is much closer to the Chinese side than it is to what the Western, uh, Westerners are saying. I think Americans have learned that it's harder to end wars than it is to begin them. Yet this is how wars end in the 21st century. Not through signing ceremonies, but through decisive blows against our adversaries, transitions to elected governments, security forces who are trained to take the lead and ultimately full responsibility. We talk about this being the land of opportunity. And if you're poor, this is not the land of opportunity. Our troops will fight to win. We will fight to win. If I wanted to win that war, Afghanistan would be wiped off the face of the earth. It would be gone. It would be over in literally in 10 days. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to go that route. We're getting out. We want to get out. We had good meetings with the Taliban. And uh, we are going to be leaving and we're going to be bringing our soldiers back home. We've been there for almost 20 years. It's a long time. We've done a great job in terms of getting rid of terrorists. Now it's up to other countries to get rid of those terrorists. And as far as the pipeline, as long as the Gladio, United States, the CIA, the NATO, they control that region with the terrorism. Can you imagine any pipeline safely going through Xinjiang area and get into the heart of the mainland China? It's not going to happen.
I'm now the fourth United States president to preside over American troop presence in Afghanistan. Two Republicans, two Democrats. I will not pass this responsibility onto a fifth. I'm deeply saddened by the facts we now face. But I do not regret my decision to end America's war fighting in Afghanistan.